Remember Professor McIntosh as being passionate about constitutional reform, having spoken with him on the subject on a daily basis. To my mind, the thing that exemplifies Professor McIntosh's passion the most is the fact that he gave this new constitution, this new draft constitution, sorry, to Grenada at no cost to the people of Grenada. When it became clear that we were having difficulty in securing funds to pay for his consultancy, he quickly said, don't let that be a problem. Let's press on with the progress. So here is a man who gave the last three years of his life or more on this draft constitution in the service of his country and at no cost to the government and people of Grenada. Following the tribute and service, the cortege journeyed by ferry to Karakou for entombment and final rites at the family cemetery at Mount Pleasant. Grenada has received a good report card following the three-day 4.5 million U.S. dollar regional integration preparedness exercise, which tested the country's readiness to deal with disasters and their effects. Activities over the period included a bomb scare at the St. George's University on Wednesday. There was also search and rescue missions, a vehicular accident in St. David, and a tsunami evacuation exercise in Grand Mall on Friday. General Earl Arthurs of Sedema says the intention is to ensure that Grenada can plan and execute a national exercise on its own. He says while there are still some gaps, he noticed major improvements in some areas. Our main objective really was to ensure that Grenada completed the mission of um, delivering this exercise. And I think they did a very good job. And we should applaud them for that. I think that the program was very ambitious. I mean, I, when I started the planning with them over six months ago, one of the things was that I felt that there were too many activities. I'm happy to say that they completed all the activities um, to the different levels of success, of course, because with the amount of activities, all of them could have, have been excellent. But all of them was actually they were actually completed. I noted the good response from the communities. I felt that the volunteers, and I was um, in St. Patrick yesterday, and I was very impressed with the volunteers, the, the participation at the shelter, at the District Emergency Operations Center, and now I've been told about the, um, the third team that did superbly. The response also from, from the agencies, the emergency agencies, I think was quite good. I saw major improvements this morning at the landslide um, incident where the police, the Red Cross, and the fire actually worked together, together quite well. I've identified some gaps and I will share with NADMA, but most of the gaps are things that probably we knew would have been there, like emergency communication. Uh, Grenada is a difficult place for radios to operate well. And we found out that when you start to go between the hills, you start to have problems with communication. So Sedima will have a look at ways to see how we could actually improve that system. On that note, we put a wrap on this edition of the GIS News Review for the week ending Friday, April 5th, 2013. Recapping the main points, government commits to take on board suggestions coming out of pre-budget consultations. Prime Minister and OECS delegation discuss ongoing work of Economic Commission Unit and the man who led the process of constitution reform lead to rest. On behalf of everyone here at the Government Information Service, all those making this past week production possible, I am Abigail McIntyre. Thank you for joining us.
You're watching the Government Information Service Channels 12 and 22.